Begin final checklist. Engine temperature, check. Vodka temperature, check. Martini shakers, check. Cue announcer and no announcer. From the cockpit, it's the Tom Likas Show. You ever been in a cockpit before? And now, and now here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800. 5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks, big part of our program. We appreciate it. Last night, got back in from Vancouver. Wow, 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 wow. What a trip. What a trip. What a trip. How many clubs did we go out to? How many great meals did we have? Walking around, even in the cold weather. Robson Street. Fantastic. It was absolutely great. And the show on Friday was uh, indescribably um, salacious. Salacious. That is the $10 word of the day on the Tom Likas show. Salacious. Thank you. Anyway, I went to the uh, hockey game yesterday, and I warned you boys... I know uh, everybody in Vancouver said that the uh, Canucks were going to roll over the Los Angeles Kings. Uh, the Los Angeles Kings had a lousy, crappy, horrible year. They have the team with the highest number of brittle players in the National Hockey League who get hurt the most often. I know it's all just luck, right? But um fact is, everybody on that team looked like they were going to... Um, they were playing for their careers because a bunch of those guys, if the Kings know anything about what they're doing, will get swept right off the team now that the year is up. So a lot of these boys were playing for jobs for next year, and they had nothing to lose. And the Canucks had a lot to lose because uh, the Canucks uh, were playing for a third place in the Western Conference of the National Hockey League. And uh, by uh, finishing uh, fourth, uh, they did, lost the, uh, of course, the divisional championship to Colorado, who won yesterday. Now they have to face St. Louis. And um, had a good time at the game. The Canucks fans are great fans, and I must say, even though uh, we were obviously Kings fans, uh, they were very good-natured fans. I just love the people in Vancouver. We had a spectacular time. And our thanks again to the people at AM730 Mojo Radio, and specifically to uh, Crosby and to Bill Courage and uh, all the folks there who made our trip great. And um, also we had a lot of nice press while we were in town. One or two hatchet jobs, but uh, a lot of good press. It was great. So... um we did just about everything you could do. We uh, consumed a lot of Havana Club rum, as promised. In fact, we were at Joe Forte's three times this weekend, and they are now, if you call them, you can verify this, Joe Forte's, which is this really cool restaurant. They are now out of Havana Club, seven-year-old Havana Club rum. They have no more of it. Gary and I drank all of it. I told you, when we went there, we were going to smoke cigars, and the guy from City Cigar came down and endowed us with, I don't know, more cigars than we could ever smoke from Cuba. And then um, we drank um, all the Havana Club, all of it. They were going down to the cellar to see if they had more. They didn't. But uh, we met one of the partners, Joe Fortes. Next time we're coming to town, we're going to warn them so they can stock up. They can... Uh, Send an email to Fidel Castro and get more of that stuff. It's really good. So uh, there you go. What a trip. What a listener party. And by the way, uh, you know, in the past year, my throat was shot because of the mold in my house. And 
I moved out of my house and had all this work done and my, my voice improved. Today, my voice is just a little shot, a little shot, because of the usual normal reason, which is I yelled too much at a remote broadcast. And I yelled not only on the broadcast, but also yelled to be heard because the noise was so loud. It's truly amazing. So um, thank you, uh, everybody who uh, tried to win tickets and didn't. All the people who stood in line who didn't make it in. And all the people who did get in. Everybody who uh, was the seventh caller. It was really cool. I saw things I thought I would never see. And um, I know that um, I know that there's an unauthorized listener website where you can see some of these photos. Likeus101.net. We have nothing to do with it, but you might enjoy seeing the photos. <laughs> For people who don't believe that that chick uh, lactated all over the, the the audience, it's it's there. You'll see it. It's amazing. Well, here we are back in Los Angeles. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. Here we are together again on the radio, you and me. And I have an email here, and it um, it's written by Kelly, who lives in Tacoma, Washington. Kelly's a guy. And um, because I've never been in this situation, i got to be honest with you, I don't know the answer to his question. You know, there are um, so many things you write me about, and they are scenarios I've been through. So I will frequently have a strong opinion when you write in and ask for help. But in this particular um, situation, this has never been me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read this email, and then I'm going to get your responses. Maybe you've got some advice for Kelly. Here it is. Dear Tom, my wife and I are having a disagreement you would think me being married four times. I'd have had every disagreement there is. But apparently not. Lately, she's been seeing a male massage therapist whom she raves about as having, quote, the best hands-on she's ever had, end quote. She also uh, says that he is, quote, an artist when it comes to massage. I'm becoming increasingly uncomfortable with her comment like, gee, my ass is a little bruised after my massage yesterday. Or when I ask her how her massage was, she says, better than exquisite with half-lidded eyes. She insists it is all on a professional level that all the private body parts are draped with a sheet, and that it's all very clinical. And, oh, Tom, did I mention that my wife strips totally naked for these massages? Reality check here, man. Am I just being a pussy, insecure? Or do you think, as I do, that all men are perverts, and this guy really wants to plank her? How long will it be before he rubs something on her besides his hands? Should I be concerned? I should also mention that my wife is a solid 8.5 out of 10, but she thinks no one looks at her in that way anymore. Oh, boy. That's signed Kelly in Tacoma. Women in their 40s who think no one looks at them that way anymore can go one of two ways. They either sit there feeling sorry for themselves or they go after the pool boy. And who knows, maybe the massage therapist. I don't know. But I really, uh, to be honest with you, I've not been in this situation. Not been with a woman who um, went out um, and got a massage from a male massage therapist. By the way, that doesn't mean I haven't been with women who've gotten massages, but most women I know who get a massage get it from a woman. That's uh, most women I know. Most women I know um, have a male gynecologist and a female massage therapist. I don't know why. In fact, I must tell you, there are spas where I have gone, like I've been at a resort, and they have a spa. And if uh, you're a guy, you get a guy. That's it. There's no, like, asking for a woman to do you. It doesn't happen. 
A woman comes in, you get a woman. That's it. There is no, like, uh, you got any, uh, your wife can't go in and say, got any hot guys here. It doesn't happen. But I imagine uh, if you're not at a resort and you're just going out and hiring your own, you can hire anybody you like. So, um, I don't know. I have not been in this position before. I don't know what's really going on here. And um, I'm wondering what you think is really going on here. Tom. Like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Life is not running around the circle of your penis. Actually, it is. No, I don't think so. It's the Tom Likas Show. Like us on Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. How you play the first 18 holes is important, but how you celebrate those 18 is what really counts. Which is why the next time you're on the 19th hole, you should have an Amstel Light. Amstel Light is a light beer that actually tastes like beer. So ask your caddy for advice, throw some blades of grass in the air to get an idea of the wind. Just do whatever you have to do, because this is the 19th hole, and selecting an Amstel Light will be the best decision you make all day. Always satisfying, never watered down. Amstel Light, the beer drinkers like beer. Imported by Amstel USA, White Plains, New York. These days, people are doing lots of things to save money. Reading the paper over someone's shoulder to save 50 cents, looking for spare change on the couch. The best way, though, is to log on to Hotwire.com when you need a great deal on a hotel. Recently, a Hotwire customer got a four-star hotel for $100 a night at sunny Miami Beach. That's a four-star hotel for a two-star price. For amazing deal on hotels and a way to scratch that itch to save money, log on to Hotwire.com. Hotwire.com. Fly, sleep, drive, cheap. What if you could put an end to your obsessive worrying? What if you could finally control your what-if thinking? What if you could stop feeling afraid, anxious, and depressed? What about your life might be different right now? Hi, I'm Lucinda Bassett, president of the Midwest Center for Stress and Anxiety. For many, many years, I found it difficult to do the simplest things, travel, socialize, even talking on the phone was difficult for me. I suffered with severe anxiety, panic attacks, and depression. I helped myself recover completely, and now I want to help you help yourself. Please pick up the phone and call now for my free seminar on tape. Don't give up or get discouraged. Don't let anyone tell you you have to learn to live with anxiety and depression. And don't stop looking for answers. This may be the one you've been looking for. Call 1-800-ANXIETY. That's one 800 A-N-X-I-E-T-Y. Call now. It's allergy season again. Where should you turn for relief? Benadryl or the leading prescription? The answer may surprise you. Medical studies prove histamine-blocking Benadryl is 54% more effective than the leading prescription. More effective at relieving even your worst allergy symptoms, like runny noses. That's a real eye-opener. Benadryl, 54% more effective than the leading prescription. Use as directed. Studies use Benadryl allergy at standard 50 milligram dose. There's a new chill in the air. Arctic chill. A new, even colder kind of gum from Dentine Ice. Cooler. Icier. Fresher. Even cooler. To take your breath where it's never been before. Dentine Ice. Arctic Chill, new from Dentine Ice, ice at its coldest. If your radio sounds funny in the morning, you're listening to Imus in the Morning, only on Hot Talk 1080, KOTK. Their powers of self-delusion in Europe are almost as great as the information minister, that wonderful information <laughs> minister, who I think is going to be carried out with his podium by Vincent <laughs> Brooks personally. <laughs> with his podium, still talking, <laughs> still saying we have the Americans surrounded. All right, five minute of Newsweek magazine. Imus in the Morning. On Hot Dog 1080, K-O-T-K. Tom Mike is here on Hot Dog 1080, K-O-T-K. What's happening with all the cars, baby? Back. On your I-5 northbound commute this afternoon, traffic is trouble-free heading up into Vancouver. Also, I-5 southbound looks good. On the Vanfield, we're slow from I-5 out past 12th. And on the Sunset outbound delays at Cedar Hills, inbound is moving well. This check on traffic is brought to you by Fiducial. Taxes still not done. Need to file an extension? 
Don't pay penalties or interest. Fiducial Fast Tracks gets your taxes done now. Call 1-866-FIDUCIAL. That's 1-866-343-8242. Or visit fiducial.com. I'm Jody Walker. That's your commuter update on Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. Rick Emerson. Morning, morning. Right before Lycus. Watch it, Will Robinson. Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. The Tom Lycus Show at one 800 tom That's our telephone number. Rochelle. You're on the Tom Lycus Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Rochelle. Okay, that guy has every reason plus some to be worried, and I'm going to tell you why. All right. I did massage for about three years. I still do it once in a while. And I would have regular, happily merry merry men come in every single week for an hour, a two-hour massage from me. And that's supposedly all they wanted because I wouldn't do anything more. But there was definite flirting, definite whatever would have gone on. And because my cell phone was my blind to get a hold of me, they would call and, you know, talk to me like a regular Joe whenever, you know, when their wife wasn't around. So I can definitely see that it would go both ways. And male massage therapists are usually pretty good-looking males, and they're not, you know, they're big and muscular. They're not just looking for to give you a good massage, in my opinion. Really? So, Yeah. And a lot of guys come in and they ask, you know, could you massage this or that, that we're not supposed to be massaging, and you can walk out feeling like a prostitute. I'm sure females have the same attitude. Mm -hmm. But as far as getting naked, usually the first time, second time, third time, even maybe, you know, five times that you see one person, they're not comfortable right away. I mean, it takes a long time to entice them to be comfortable and take off everything and be totally relaxed, okay? And if this woman is going home and saying any of this stuff to her husband, either she's trying to get that guy jealous, her husband jealous, or she's definitely doing something with this guy. Hang on a second, Rochelle. Chris, you don't agree with Rochelle. Why not? No, I don't agree at all. She's paying for a service. If she enjoys it that much and he's so insecure, why doesn't he go down and get a massage by him to find out exactly what's going on? He might be a good masseuse. Well, most guys She's aren't willing for to get... a service. I'm sorry. Most guys aren't willing to get a massage from another man. And most That's females... That's not true. There's I, get a a massage from my, I get a massage from a man. He's not playing with my pee or anything, but well, no. he's giving me a great massage. I pay him the money, and I recommend him to friends. But you know, it's a not... professional, professional uh, industry. I sell home loans. I don't sleep with my brokers. Do you? There is such thing as called a sensual or a light touch massage, though. So I'm sure you're not going in and asking him for a light touch massage, which is no, 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 a no, light no. touch no. all down your body, which could be considered very sexual and sensual. And this woman could be going home. And flapping her jaws about her husband. I mean, do you Chelsea's go home insecure. and tell everybody how, you know, oh, you had this how wonderful, wonderful my massages? Oh, you, and you bet I do. on and on and on and on. I and recommend on my friends to go. Yeah, so, yeah, so, you, so you talk about, like, your ass, how your ass feels yeah, after see, you're that's done? A little extreme. Well, that's a little extreme, but maybe she's trying to make a point to him that there's not enough attention. Or rather than she just take his ass down and have him get a massage so she can say, look, this is what I'm talking about. It may be right. heaven. And I agree with that. I think Kelly's either, insecure. Either he's doing something or he is or she's going home to tell him and saying little things because she's and trying to get Kelly's him more insecure. sexual. I think Kelly's a little insecure. If you can't trust your wife, who can you trust? Yeah, I agree with that, too. All right. But, you know. Tom, you're right. I'm a first-time caller. Been listening for a while now. Do me a favor and take me out with the bomb toke. Here it comes, Chris. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom Naomi, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement, Naomi? It's a statement. I'm just saying. Uh, I give massages done all the time. 
And if I were messing around on a boyfriend or a husband with a masseuse, I would not say anything. When he asked about how my massage was, I would just say, say, well, you know, it was okay. But obviously, if she keeps telling him about it, it's because she's missing attention. He's not giving her something that she needs. And well, that's what she's yeah, but you know as well as I do, many women never get enough attention, no matter how much attention a man pays. You know, oh, yeah. I love how it's assumed that the man somehow is deficient. Isn't it possible she's one of these women who's totally insecure? And no matter what her husband does, it's never enough? Well, that is true. It could be that. But then what was his response? If his wife is getting all his massages to say, he has magical fingers, he touches me good. If he says, oh, well, that's good, she's going to want more of a response to jealousy. She, he needs to act a little bit jealous. It, that's a game, though, you know? It is a game. I'll tell you what. You play a but game like that with works. me, I, I change the locks. That's how that works. <laughs> well, that's how I work. If I want attention, I'm going to try to make my boyfriend as jealous as I can get him to make sure of that. Why do you have to I play that game? Guy. Maybe you're with the wrong guy. I know I was. Well, that's my point. So <laughs> why even waste your time playing a game like that? Why not just move on? Well, that's true, but obviously she's missing something in their relationship. Maybe well, it's been longer. She, like she said, she doesn't feel like she's that attractive. So, na so making him feel a sense of distrust... And unease is going to make the relationship better? I'm not saying it's making the relationship better, but it'll make her feel better. Yeah, well... It may not be best for both of them, but it's girls well, are like that. You know, I, she's running the risk he's going to run him away. So why not just leave? Because <laughs> she has a marriage that she doesn't want to screw up. She doesn't want to be in our statistics for divorce. Yeah, she probably wants to keep her hand in his wallet. <laughs> or that, too. Right. Can you blow me up with an orgasm? Can I blow you up with an orgasm? Well, let's see. Oh, oh, God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's Kim on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Kim. I think this chick's banging him. You do? I, yeah. Tell us when why. I go get massages, I ask for men only. And I don't consider myself a homophobe, but, you know, I just don't like the thought of a woman touching me. But when I've gone and, you know... He... Most of the guys out there like the thought of a woman touching you, though. Well, I would think that a, a guy would like the thought of touching me. <laughs> or they, they'd be just as happy to see another woman touching you. Um, yeah, but I'm not into that. Oh, I see. So, so you ask for men, and then what? Um, then a man comes in and they give me a massage, and I can tell you that it's exciting. I get excited. Nothing happens. I mean, they so you get you you get aroused by that. I do. And do you have a boyfriend? I'm married. You're married. Does your husband know you get aroused by that? Um, no. Yeah, he doesn't. Because he'd tell you that's the end of the massage. And I probably would, too. The Tom Likas Show. Only one radio station has the worldwide resources of CNN at your disposal 24 hours a day. Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. War in Iraq. This is the CNN Radio Special Report. I'm Rachel Lee. With coalition forces moving throughout Baghdad, Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld tells Iraqis life without Saddam Hussein's regime is not a distant dream. The regime's leaders are increasingly isolated. The circle is closing and their options are running out. Rumsfeld describes Iraqi resistance as weak and cites significant damage to Republican Guard units. More than 100 U.S. tanks and armored vehicles rolled into Baghdad today, and coalition forces took over two of Saddam's palaces. The Pentagon's waiting for more tests on samples taken from an agricultural compound in central Iraq. What may be chemical weapons material was found in buried barrels. President Bush and British Prime Minister Tony Blair are looking ahead to an Iraq after the war and a summit in Northern Ireland. U.S. officials say the voice on the tape broadcast by Iraqi TV Friday is most likely that of Saddam Hussein. This is CNN. Fisher Communications. From the KOTK Newsroom, here's your Northwest Update. 431, I'm Steve Riley. This news brought to you by Heritage for the Blind. Don't sell or trade your card. Donate it to Heritage for the Blind for a tax deduction. Call 1-800-2-DONATE. That's 1-800-2-DONATE. There's nothing more important in this world than how the stars feel about the war, uh, the war going on. Here is Adam Sandler's 
the effects of the war having on Americans. Nobody's having that much fun right now in, in life. Everybody, if you're having a good time, then you just go, actually, you know, let's not laugh too much. It's this, this stuff going on out there that um, people are dying for, uh, you know, great, nice, sweet people who are, are dying, and we don't want that to happen. So just looking forward to the war ending and our men and women coming home. That's good. For the Metro Forecast, more rain to rally the KOTK News Group. Are you ready to get your share of the lottery millions being given away each and every week? Could you use an extra $1 million, $5 million, or even $10 million or more? The key to winning any amount is easy. You have to play the right numbers. Click on the lottery, AccuLotto.com banner right now to find out about AccuLotto's $10,000 winning guarantee and to find out how you can be the next lottery jackpot winner. Get a free guide to winning and playing the lottery just for visiting AccuLotto.com today. Hi, I'm Danny Bonaducci, and right now we're on a film set with the legendary rock band KISS. They prepare to shoot a music video to help us deliver the big news. You can catch That 70s Show all week long. Hey, KISS is taking the stage, so I gotta go. But remember, folks, it's That 70s Show all week long. Check that 70 show.com or local TV listings for time and channel. Click on the banner now and find out how you can combine the power of your computer with the sound experience of the Bose Wave Radio. Whether it's your favorite CD, MP3, wave file, a broadcast from around the corner, or around the world, it's all just a click away. The Bose Wave PC system. Transform your ordinary PC into an extraordinary music center. Innovative Bose technology makes it all possible with the new Wave PC. So click on the banner now and try the Wave PC system at your home or in your office. Are you determined to lose weight this year but worry about using a diet that contains ephedra? Then click on the tuner banner right now for an absolutely free limited time offer. Apple cider vinegar has been safely used for centuries as an all-natural effective way to lose weight. Apple cider vinegar contains powerful antioxidants and enzymes to detoxify your body while reducing your unwanted unsightly fat. Look better and feel healthier this holiday season by clicking on your radio tuner banner now for details. Hi, this is Tim Anderson with Budget Computers. We're home of the $200 laptop or the $200 PC. Come see us in this back-to-school period where we've got special deals for everybody and every price range. We're down at 4040 Southwest 114th in beautiful downtown Beaverton. Our phone number down there is 503-646-1776. We're on the northwest corner of 217 and Canyon Road. See us today. Budget Computers, open Monday through Friday, 10 to 7, Saturday, 11 to 5, on the web at budcom.com. This week's special, 1 gigahertz budget box, only $3.99. It's allergy season again. Where should you turn for relief, Benadryl or the leading prescription? The answer may surprise you. Medical studies prove histamine-blocking Benadryl is 54% more effective than the leading prescription more effective at relieving even your worst allergy symptoms, like runny noses. That's a real eye-opener. Benadryl, 54% more effective than the leading prescription. Uses directed, studies use Benadryl allergy at standard 50 milligram dose. Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. And I want to have sex with my cat or my dog, that's my business. Joe Hendry. I knocked off a piece of cat this past weekend. Bill. The Calico. Weekdays at 10 and weeknights at 7. On Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. Sound like a show. From the cockpit in Los Angeles at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. We're talking about Kelly. A listener in Tacoma, Washington, who wrote in that his wife is going out and getting... Massage from a male massage therapist. And according to Kelly, she raves about him having the best hands on she's ever had. And that he's an artist when it comes to massage. She says things like, gee, my ass is a little bruised after my massage yesterday. When he asks her how the massage was, she says, better than exquisite with half lidded eyes, he said. What do you think's going on here? 1 800 5800 Tom is your telephone number. Rose on the Tom Like a Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Rose. First of all, I want to say that my three year old loves you and Good. has fits in the morning when we're on our way to daycare and he can't listen to you because you're on in the afternoon. <laughs> Kids do not have a sense of time at all. 
Yes, and, and I am a single mother, but he is equally raised by his father, who does not pay child support because of that. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah, but I just wanted to say that I'm a massage therapist in Tacoma, and uh, my son's father is also a massage therapist. And if she's going out to a place to get a massage, then he has to have a license. And in this state, they are so hard on people with licenses. I mean, you have to pass boards, you have to take tests, you have to go through a year of school. And then people that employ you look into all of that stuff. And if you have one little nick on your record, you're probably not going to get a job. And most places that you work don't have soundproof rooms. So it'd be pretty easy to tell if something could be going on in a room like that. And back to what another caller said. How often do things like this happen? Um, like what this husband is alleging. Well, how often? Um, alleging? Yeah. You can't allege all the time. Right, but how often does it really happen? Not that often because people are so afraid of the laws in this state. Because in this state alone, massage was considered a prostitution until the mid-80s. So, you know, and, and the previous caller was talking about a light touch massage. Well, it's obviously not a light touch massage if, if uh, she's going home and talking about her butt is bruised. So, I mean, men obviously have more power when they're giving massage. Uh, some people like getting their ass bruised. Hey, you know, there's, there's... I had one woman at the Lister party on Friday who got her ass bruised. Damn skippy. Damn skippy. And I didn't have a license. <laughs> but you weren't doing massage. That's right. Um, and there there are so many there are so many ways to track a, a person's massage record or I mean most most people keep their business license number or their massage license number on their business cards. Mm -hmm. I do. And you can call up the Washington State Department of Health licensing and say I want to look into this license number and look to see if the license is legit. And if he's so concerned about it, why doesn't he inquire if this gentleman does in-home massages and have him come to his home and get his wife massage? Sure, he might be paying a little extra, but if he's so paranoid about it, then he can at least have this man in his home massaging his wife in the living room where he can keep an eye on it. Mm. But it's so highly unlikely that it's happening because of the fact that employers are really, you know, really in tune to the fact that, Yes, it can be a sexually prov provocative career. I've been doing it for four years. My son's dad has been doing it for five and a half. So, yeah. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, is he concerned about his wife getting her bikini waxed? I guess it depends on who's doing the waxing. Dave on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Yeah, what's happening, Tom? Not much, Dave. Man, you know what? This bitch is playing the man. She's playing him. This is so obvious. Half lidded eyes, exquisite. She's just trying to get his goat, man. She's trying to get the homeboy jealous. That's all it is. Because mm -hmm. you know this ain't happening like she's thinking it is. Maybe she, uh, maybe she is deluded. She is deluded. She's trying to get him going, man. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, this ain't happening like it's got in her mind, man. She mm -hmm. is trying to get him playing because she's getting a reaction out of him. She sees it, and she's playing it. That's all it is. Dave, thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. Arlene on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Arlene. Hey, listen, you know what? I get massages by men because men don't talk. And women chat, 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 chat. And you go there just to relax. You don't want to, they, they want to know, where do you work? Where do you get your hair done? Like, you know what? I don't want to talk. And men don't talk. Most, do most women want to chat. They never shut up. You're right. And and you know what, man, you tell them, you know, stick your elbow right on that shoulder blade and do it hard. They do it just like you tell them, and women are chat, 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 or, oh, I don't want to hurt you. I mean, men are just better massage therapists. That's that's my opinion. Really? But I, I agree with Dave. He, he She's playing him. Thank she you. She really is. She's playing him. Thank you, Arlene, for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. More of your telephone calls are coming up. Um. 1-800-5800-TOM. 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 What? The Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas, only on Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. 
All right, folks, while we have a minute, let's go up to the uh, chopper with Brad Powell, get a traffic update. Brad, what do you see up there? Well, thanks a lot, Scott. Nothing you're going to want to hear about, unfortunately. You can expect major delays on the interstate. An overturned tractor trailer has got traffic backed up for about 25 miles. It's a real bad situation, Scott, but I do have good news. Uh, what's that, Brad? I just saved a load of money on car insurance by switching to GEICO. See how much you could save. Visit GEICO.com. GEICO. 15 minutes online could save you 15% on car insurance. There are only five episodes of Survivor left until the finale. And CBS Thursday, the pressure to stay in the game boils over. The boys are going to be sweating. Then, after an all-new episode of TV's number one show, CSI, they are the team that find the missing. And when a popular teacher vanishes... He cracked under the pressure of being Mr. Perfect. You won't believe what they'll learn. You have to tell us what you know. The hit drama with Abba Trace, all-new CBS Thursday. The Phil Hendry Show is now on Hot Talk 1080 KOTK twice a day. David, if you are still feeling the effects of the acid, play it. All right, I'm going to play it, but if it freaks you out, just play it. Oh, God. David. Just let me listen to it. Yeah, he's no good, man. Phil Hendry, mornings at 10 and weeknights at 7, only on Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. Girls are going to be here in 10 minutes. Never met a girl could make me feel the way that you do. The frosty mint taste of six powerful mints. A little drop of Rex for a big hit of confidence. Be certain. Be certain. Need a degree to advance your career? Then click on our radio banner now. Don't let long hours on the job keep you from career success. Earn your accredited degree or certificate on your time online via the University Alliance at www.degrees.us. Enjoy the convenience of learning from real professors via classes that you view on your computer, all from schools with solid reputations like Villanova University. Visit the University Alliance at www.degrees.us. Hot Talk 1080 KOTK, it's the time like a show and weird traffic jam. An accident with some traffic bunching up. It's at the end of the exit ramp from my 205 south to Foster. Otherwise, a fairly quiet drive this afternoon as you head north or south on I-5. We're looking good. Banfield slows out to 12. This check on traffic is brought to you by naturopathic arthritis sufferers. Joint Ritis has all your pain covered from the original ointment to the two new cream formulas and the new medication pain relief patch. Joint Ritis stops your pain. I'm Jody Walker. That's your commuter update on Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. Hot Talk. Listen, Hot Shot 1080. I'm going to tell you something right now. I don't care for you or for the putrid sludge you're troweling out. Hot Talk 1080. Well, KOTK. Do you have a permit for that? Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. The Tom like is shot. 1-800-5800-TOM. Teresa on the Tom Like Us show. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Pretty good. I'm so happy to be talking to you. I love you, man. Thank you. I'm calling to say that I think that this girl, Kelly, or I'm sorry, this... Kelly is <laughs> the guy who wrote in. Sorry yeah. about that. Um, I think maybe she's trying to give him a couple pointers without quite criticizing him. By telling him how great this massage is. Why not just ask him to do things like she had in a massage rather than yeah, throwing right. it in his face and uh, trying to make him feel insecure or inferior? <laughs> well, no, yeah. <laughs> Without saying... Um, I think she it. wants to make him feel that way. No, I don't think so. Because, you know, girls are funny like that. Why wouldn't she just take off? If she was so, if she was unhappy in that area. Because he's paying for the mortgage. Who knows if they have kids? Uh, you know how know, how complicated so divorce can be. <laughs> Most people want to have their cake and eat it too. They want the security of a home, and they want the excitement of going out and getting the massage. Yeah, but I would rather live in squalor and have. I know you would, but do you really life. think most people are like that? Look at all the people <laughs> who screw around these days. <laughs> That's true. I mean, come on. All right, you got me there. All right. But maybe that's an avenue to explore other than maybe she's cheating. 
Because I know I'm. Oh, it, it could be that you, it, it, there's a lot of possibilities. That's one. Um, Another is that nothing's going on at all. She's just trying to 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 get him upset or get under his skin or press his hot buttons. Maybe he's somewhat unemotional or uh, not very sexual. Who knows? I don't know. But the yeah. but the bottom line here is the, the the you know this is game play. I don't put up with game playing. I hate game play. <laughs> You know, I, I I don't like it either. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I'm I got married really young, and so people think I'm a little backwards in my theories. But you know, it's like if it's not meant to be, it's going to end sooner or later, whether the money's there or not. So I just don't understand how girls can just do that game playing crap. Why do they waste their time? Well, it, you know, again, it's another example of how people don't communicate with each other in relationships. Yeah. And uh, it's also another example of just plain selfishness in a relationship. Yeah, that would be it, I guess. But I mean, I get, I go and I get full body massages. My husband doesn't need to hear all the details. Like, he knows it's always by, you know what I mean? It's I mean, eighty percent of the time it's by males. He's just, just always assuming that they're. Now, what about the caller earlier? A woman who said she's always aroused when she gets a massage. What about you? I'm always what aroused. Aroused. No, not really. What did you think about the woman who said she always gets aroused? Uh, I think she's got something going on, like she's attracted to the the guy that's giving it to her. Uh huh. But I don't find any attraction in that. My husband is it for me. He does everything I need. <laughs> uh -huh. So you think that women who aren't getting what they need at home might get aroused? Possibly, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. and it makes perfect sense. All right, All right so Teresa. If you, um, no, all right, no well. go ahead. What was your last thing? Say, say your last thing. <laughs> no, it's all right. <laughs> oh, now come on. That must be good. All right. Well, okay. In going and getting uh, a full body massage, that includes everything. Yeah. Okay. Everything? It's like, you know, I guess in a sense, it's everything. hard not to get aroused when they're grazing over your nipples and stuff. Mm, really? You know, but I don't know. So you do get aroused? I don't, though. So maybe I'm just a weirdo. <laughs> I didn't know they massage your nipples. I had no idea. Well, they go around in that area, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, if you get the right person. I have no right idea. Money. I'll keep this in mind. <laughs> it provides a total relaxation, but I'm comfortable in my marriage. They marriage. massage but, your nipple. You know, what about your uh, it doesn't bother What about your crotchal area? Do they get down there too? No, not quite quite up in there. But. Not 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 <laughs> up in there. What about on the outside? Yeah, right, just above, like, in the, you know, right in the crease where your stomach meets your hips, you know? Uh-huh. Right up in there sometimes. Uh-huh. They ever <laughs> accidentally go a little low? No. No. Not, not recently. When I was in beauty school, I Never was wish school, they would. That's when I started all this, you know. You ever wish they would? Really happen, Come on. But... Ever wish they would? No. <laughs> so they never touch hair down there, huh? No, no. Okay, just checking. Well, <laughs> there is no hair down there, but uh, <laughs> it's in that area. <laughs> I see. Gotcha. All right, Teresa. All right. Well, it was great to talk to you. I agree. Thank you. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. <laughs> Let's say hello here to Mark on the Tom Likas show. Hey, right on. Uh, third time, long time, Tom. Thank you. You know, me out. F that. Uh, you know. Okay, married here. I don't know, six, eight months now, and uh, I, I suppose it's a good thing that I am. But uh, I don't have a double standard on too damn many things. Mm -hmm. This is one thing that I do. I get massages. She gets massages. It's all cool, except that, uh, well, obviously, I'm not getting a massage by a guy. And, and there's no way in hell she's going to get a massage by a guy. Uh, we all know, it, we, hell, we're all horned dogs. If we're rubbing some chick, and if she's not some big porker, we're going to want to be looking at that. We're going to feel it, and we're thinking this is great. Well, there's no way in hell I'm going to have any guy rubbing my gal thinking it's all cool. Yeah. i got to wonder how a male massage therapist looks at, like, a hot chick who's naked and he's massaging her. How does he not get aroused? You know he does. Come on. You know he's wanting to pop the tent any time he That's can. That's right. Exactly. Damn straight. Hey, Tom, I just thought I'd put my two cents in. Keep it up. You're doing an excellent job up here in Olympia, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Mark, thank you. Appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Anthony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Uh, not much, Anthony. Hey, uh, I agree with Dave, man. I think that she's just trying to get his goal. She knows what she's doing. Um, this crap about people not looking at her, I think it's just crap because girls know who's looking at them. They know what they're doing. 
I just think she's, she's just trying to get his goat. Yeah, well, maybe that's what she's doing. Maybe there's more. I don't know. I have no idea. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I make six figures, and I'm a big guy, but I tell you, when they see the wad, they're all over me. Which wad is that? <laughs> the cash wad. How well hung is your wallet? It's very well hung. It's the Tom Likas Show. Like us on Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. Is your current salary promised to creditors, a mortgage company, and car payments? What if you could pay off everything and start building real wealth with just the money you already make? Well, you can. Hi, my name is John Commuta, and like most Americans, I've been in debt. I lived in a big house, drove a nice car, and felt completely secure. But when things didn't go perfectly, I found out just how little I really owned. That's when I came up with a guaranteed system that eliminates debt, all debt, including your mortgage, car payments, credit cards, and more, and builds real wealth from the very first day. I did it, and so have almost a half million people using only their current income. It's a simple, easy-to-follow system that transforms your debt into wealth, and it does all this without sacrificing the things you want most. Call now, and I'll rush you a free tape that will show you the power of my proven system. 1-800-300-5005. Stop renting your lifestyle and start owning your life. 1-800-300-5005. That's 1-800-300-5005. Whether you need something new to talk about or something new to talk on, Nokia has an announcement. A new way to buy a new mobile phone. Online at NokiaUSA.com, you can log on and purchase a Nokia mobile phone and even choose a calling plan that fits your needs. You'll find a complete selection of phones and all the latest accessories. Treat yourself for the holidays or give a friend that gift that keeps you connected. Nokia phones. Click now for the easiest way to buy online at NokiaUSA.com. Nokia. Connecting people. Girls are going to be here in 10 minutes. Never met a girl could make me feel the way that you do. The frosty mint taste of Sid's powerful mint. A little drop of Rexy for a big hit of confidence. Hi. Hey. Be certain. Be certain. There's a new chill in the air. Arctic chill. A new, even colder kind of gum from Dentine Ice. Cooler. Icier. Fresher. Even cooler. Fresher. To take your breath where it's never been before. Dentine Ice. Arctic chill. New from Dentine Ice. Ice at its coldest. Need a degree to advance your career? Then click on our radio banner now. Don't let long hours on the job keep you from career success. Earn your accredited degree or certificate on your time online via the University Alliance at www.degrees.us. Enjoy the convenience of learning from real professors via classes that you view on your computer, all from schools with solid reputations like Villanova University. Visit the University Alliance at www.degrees.us. Stephen. I want to say, this show is a runaway beer truck careening downhill out of control. Doug Stephan. Overnight's Hot Talk 1080. K-O-T-K. The Tom Like is show at 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Michael. Hello. Hey, Tom. Yeah. I'm caller. Cool. Uh... You still there? No, I left the room. Oh, you did. <laughs> um, Experience-wise, uh, girlfriend, uh, I, I went to a massage, and uh, this guy turned out to be really good, and um, I introduced my girlfriend for she needed a neck massage and such, and I and turns out he's a bit of a horn dog, <laughs> uh, and uh, shortly after introducing the two of them. She moved on to bigger, better things, left me, and uh, I heard later on that she was out partying with uh, him and his friends. So I think it's a bit of a gateway. This guy has a little bit of paranoia. It's, I think it's a tad true. She's basically telling 
telling him if you don't do something that maybe she'll take it. Women to love to have a guy who's warming up in the bullpen. They love to have a guy on the side that they can throw in a man's face. You know, so-and-so likes going to musicals. You don't. So-and-so likes going out dancing. You don't. So-and-so gives me the kind of massage and the, touches me the way that you don't. They love doing that to keep you on edge. And, yeah, I, I think there's a lot of things that women do as, like, putting one foot out the door. Mm-hmm. They're, like, testing the waters out there. Oh, yeah. And I think the, uh, I don't think she slept with the guy because she found out that he was a little bit too creepy. But, uh, you know, I think it, it is. It's a bit of a, a gateway. You know, don't forget that it's another guy touching, touching the woman, right? And if she, and I think your last woman caller, I think, uh, she does get aroused. She, her giggles <laughs> and such left it kind of like, yeah, sure. Yeah. You can get aroused. Oh, of course. <laughs> You know, I, any, uh, you know what? Anybody's massaging your girl's nipples, I, I'm nervous. <laughs> tell yep. you right now, I'm nervous. Yeah. All right, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Yanni on the Tom Like a Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how are you? All right, Yanni. Tom, i got to tell you one thing. I used to work in a massage place, and all these women, when they say they don't get aroused, that's a bullshit. If, imagine this. A girl is lying naked and you're touching her. First, the guys will get aroused, of course. And if you touch them in the right place, I mean, they get up like that easily. I mean, I've had a lot of times, you know, either they get made after a couple of sections, they'll talk about sex, how stupid their husband or boyfriend is. Mm-hmm. And it's easy to get them. Either after the massage, we'll set up a time, we'll go afterward, or it's sometimes it can get very hot in the place too. Mm-hmm. So when people say, oh, nothing can happen because you have your license, that's bullshit. Because if they have in their mind set up, if they're, you know, they get all horny and stuff, when the guy starts touching them around breast area and everything, everything happens. Did, you ever, did you ever take advantage of your position? Hey, of course. How many, now just give us an idea. How many chicks did you nail who had boyfriends and husbands? Actually, with husbands, I had four women. Uh-huh. Boyfriends? <sighs> A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Boyfriends was like uh, nothing for them. It's like yeah. a single. Yeah, Basically, I understand. Like, the thing is, the main thing is when they start liking you, I mean, they make like three, four times a week. They'll make yeah, them. oh, I have to go in more often. My my neck is hurting. Yes. Yeah, they'll make like... Oh, my spinal column. Ooh, I mean, I've I'm been in pain. they wanting me to go to their house, just like a private section. Uh-huh. You know, they, they'll set up a time with either their boyfriends or husband, but I never even did that, you know, if you want to come here or... Mm-hmm. Afterwards, fine with me. So, like I said, when they say, oh, they don't get aroused, that's both. Come on. If they have a guy, let's say, if, a, if the guys are good looking and they're all naked, and you touch them in the right places, it's easy to get them very easily. Listen to you. The voice of experience. I know. That's when women just come and say, oh, especially that one, that she doesn't get aroused. Oh, please, send her to my house. I'll show her. Oh, Yanni. Thank you so much for calling in and telling the truth about this. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas, only on Hot Talk 1080 KOTK. Hot Talk 1080 KOTK is the Tom Likas Show. Here's hot traffic. On your way home this afternoon, you'll encounter a lot of slow traffic as you head outbound on the Banfield, but just to 12th, then it loosens up. Looks pretty good after that. This check on traffic is brought to you by Pacific Power. At Pacific Power, your safety matters. Remember that coming into contact with the power line can be deadly. Please look up, look around, and always keep your distance 10 feet or more. Your safety matters. I'm Jody Walker. That's your commuter update on Hot Talk 1080 KOTK Portland. It's 5 o'clock. War in Iraq. This is the CNN Radio Special Report. I'm Stan Case. The future of Iraq is on the table as President Bush and British Prime Minister Tony Blair confer in Northern Ireland. From Belfast, John King reports the two leaders have some differences over the United Nations' role in the process. Yes, they will be discussing the ongoing military developments, including the dramatic developments this day in and around Baghdad. But White House officials say much of the time in Belfast in the talks tonight and again tomorrow will be spent on post-war Iraq. Now, there have been numerous reports suggesting major differences between Washington and London over the role the United Nations should play in a post-war Iraq.
Blair, under pressure from his European counterparts, has been pushing for a greater United Nations role. Chemical weapons experts are studying samples taken from an agricultural complex in central Iraq. They could be nerve or blister agents. But Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld says it's too early to say just now. Almost all first reports that we get are turn out to be wrong. Uh, there tend to be changes in them. And uh, as a result, we have to take our time and look at it. A top military official at the site says the chemicals may have been used as pesticides. British military officials confirm the notorious Iraqi general known as Chemical Ali has been killed by a coalition airstrike on his home in Basra. Ali Hassan al-Majid was suspected of ordering a chemical weapons attack against Kurds in 1988. Coalition Commander Tommy Franks says he's damned impressed with his fighting force. General Franks visited the battlefield for the first time Monday. New York Times reporter John Broder says the visit may have been may have boosted Franks' spirits as much as it did the troops. He really clearly was energized uh, by the trip, um, not only because he got to meet with his senior field commanders face-to-face, uh, which he hasn't had the opportunity to do since the war started, uh, but really to mingle with the troops. This is a CNN Radio special report. Hot Talk 1080, Hot Talk, KOTK, Portland. From the KOTK Newsroom, here's your Northwest Update. Good afternoon, Tim Riley with the news. Brought to you by America One Financial, where they offer no upfront fees and a free appraisal with your mortgage. Call 503-699-5272. 503-699-5272, America One, your neighborhood lender. Christian Longo accused of killing his wife and three kids, convicted today of four counts of aggravated murder. Now, previously, he admitted to killing his wife, Marianne, and their two-year-old daughter. But then, well, then they found him guilty of killing the other kids, too. Apparently, they weren't very impressed. Then a judge is very pleased with Winona Ryder. She finished 480 hours of community service. After uh, shoplifting, she worked at a hospital. Northwest farmers are soldiers without weapons. They'll be fighting the war on hunger with lentils for Iraq. This vegetable is high in protein. And the Lentil Council says 5,000 metric tons of peas and lentils are now in a Northeast Pea and Bean Company warehouse awaiting their final destination. Iraq already a good customer after some more they have there that's been long forgotten. Portland Metro forecast for tonight. Expect light rain, lows in the 40s. And cloudy skies tomorrow. I'm Tim Riley. The-